Welcome to part 2 of this course and I just want to say thank you so much for these 450 subscribers and my subscription status jumps within the last two days since I, I released part 1 of this course and it gives me a lot of motivation and uh, reminds me that uh, you really like this kind of content so uh, I'm gonna release this video before I plan to do so and thank you so much guys uh, you were the best okay so in this video we'll talk about texturing um, we can start texturing our 3d model right away uh, but first there are two really important notes uh, for you to understand the concept which are this little mix rgb and color ramps node and once you know how these two nodes works then you can pretty much make realistic texture really quickly and if you're already familiar with this concept then you can skip to this time code we can get this mix RGB node from add color and mix RGB. So if I take this output and plug it to this input, we see nothing is changed because this color one and two has exactly the same color. So if I change it to red and green, now we see the blending between those two color, which is done by this fact. So if I move toward the right, then we're gonna see the bottom, left, we're gonna see the top one. We can also think this fact as a mask, like Photoshop mask. Let me show you what I mean. If I use this black and white texture as the mask, now we're gonna see whenever there's a black, we're gonna see the color one, and white, we're gonna see color two, like this. So which means if there's a gradient, like yeah the gray area we're gonna see the blending between these two color let me show you what i mean so this is black and white texture now if i use this as the mask we're gonna see the blending between red and green okay now if i use another texture again just to, uh, to make sure everything uh, you get everything so if i use this one as the mask again now we're gonna see uh, red in this black area and green in this white area and orange in this gray area like this okay now let's uh, let me show you the real world usage I'm gonna use this one as the mask for easily understanding so I'm gonna take another like real world texture and let's use this rock if I use this one instead of red so the top texture will become rock and if I use this grass as the bottom so this green will become this okay this grass texture now instead of using this one let's use another mask let's say this one so if I use this one which is this one so whenever it's a black it's gonna use color one white color two so if I use this one we see this I hope you get it now we can control how much um, grass that we see and how much uh, rock that we see from okay add converter and color ramp now if i slide this one to the to the right then we can see more and more uh, rock because now the black dominate this one which means color one will dominate this one and if i slide it to the left then white dominate this one which means color two which is grass will dominate this one okay now if you want to go a little bit further and you said I just want the texture uh, the grass texture to be appear on the darker area of this texture okay which means we're gonna use the same texture as the mask but it's just a gray area right so I'm gonna invert this one if I slide it all the way there now the shaded part become more um, intense so the grass will appear on just the shaded part if I slide all the way there then it's gone now I, I hope you get the point see whenever there's a um, white texture we're gonna see the bottom whenever there's uh, black we're gonna see the top one just like this so what if you want to go just a little bit further and said like you want to add dirt in this rock texture okay we're gonna use the exact same principle I'm just gonna duplicate this one and let's preview this one 
so exactly like this we're gonna you're gonna need some texture to define where there's a green color so I'm gonna use this mask again and plug it right there let me make it pink so that we can see it even more clear okay now we see the dirt all over the place because we're using this one as the mask now you can control how much pink color that you see using color ramp again just slide it to the left see more pink and slide it to the right see less pink okay instead of using pink i'm gonna use something that looks more like a dirt let's use this one now if i take this output and plug it to this input right here and blends it with the grass texture then we see see now we get um now we get this rock texture as the base and we mix with dirt and then we mix that again with the grass texture if i want to see more grass i just gonna slide this one like so i can even rever reverse that yeah now you get a point right now you can add as many texture as you want you can blend as many texture as you want now okay let's take this concept and use it to real world in our project okay let's do that so i'm gonna start by giving texture to this um to this room so let's go to the shading and add new texture there and the texture that i'm gonna use is this one I'm gonna grab it down and if I just plug this one right here we're gonna get this one why is this it's because we don't have the proper unwrap I mean UV map for um, this mess so we have to unwrap this guy so go to front view hit tab and let's go to the wireframe view oh by the way I hit Z let's enable the screen cast key right here okay cool let's go to the wireframe again front view now deselect everything and select this part U and project from view to see what's happened we have to change this one from image to UV editor so that we can see what's happening here let's put this one up there I'm gonna do it for the side um, yeah for the side as well b and select this part u and project from view okay now if i select everything and but here we have one problem um the scale for this side and this side is not the same so we're gonna fix that really quick uv and average island scale now we get this um the proper scaling for this one so if i change it to material view right here we can see that the material has been applied to this mesh um, the right way but the problem is now it's too big you see the texture is a bit too big and there are two ways we can scale this down select this one and control T and if I increase this scale let's say 5 then just look at that the texture becomes smaller and smaller so it works as the opposite if you scale this one up it will become smaller okay but the problem here is if i scale it from this node and let's say i want to export this mess and try to composite in nuke and the texture coordinate will not be the same so it's not good idea to scale it from here think about the last step which is the, uh, step number eight compositing you know so the best way to do is just scale it from here you can scale this one as big as you want but I have little intention in my mind that I want to put I want to scale about this big okay I'm gonna put put it there okay let's get it more grab it again and just put it there okay cool and now we're gonna blend this texture with um, brick texture so let's go to texture and brick texture we have to use the same UV coordinates so I'm gonna take this vector and plug it to the vector if I preview this one <clears throat> and I don't want this um, offset texture so let's just go I mean let's reduce the frequency to 1 and we need to increase the height so just make it as high as you can like 100 okay 
so that we don't see the horizontal line and I think um, the the pattern is a little bit too big so I'm gonna scale this one again uh, something like this is good now I see that the text I mean the color are not the same so just drag and drop that one there now we have like um, the same texture all over the place <clears throat> so let's blend these two texture by getting the color and mix RGB just plug it right there and I want this texture to be on the mask okay I'm gonna use this one as the mask and I'm gonna use this one as the bottom or the top it doesn't matter so I want this color to be black now we can see that right um, now we can control how much um, dark and white area uh, that we get from this texture by using color ramp so color I mean converter and color ramp now if I slide this one to the right then we're gonna see more of color one remember the black color one and if I slide this one to the left then we're gonna see color two which is the bottom one so I wanna I don't want to control the intensity this one is for the intensity I just want to control the opacity which is this one so I'm just gonna grab this one down a bit something like that I'm gonna make it a little bit more yeah let's put it there if I look it from here and make the roughness to all the way there yeah now I mean it's too rough I know it's too rough but first let's, let's add the um, bombs here first go to the bombs and take this one output and connect the height and normal to the normal now we get height for this one the height map take a look at this okay cool now let's control the roughness for this one I'm gonna use this texture as the roughness um, I'm gonna control it by color ramp and let's put this one to this input and use this one as the roughness oh by the way one thing I forgot is I forgot to change the color space from sRGB to non color data it reads the data even uh, much better right now um, the reflection is too much and the diffuse level is also too much so I'm gonna decrease that by uh, sliding I mean controlling the opacity oh by the way if you look at this texture all the the white part here will become diffuse and the black part will become uh, reflective so I'm gonna change that one uh, I'm gonna change this diffuse level to a bit more reflective there and this reflectivity a bit more diffuse something like this yeah let's change the HDR okay yeah so this one is enough for the base color but I don't want to use uh, the same texture here on the top you know the top part so I'm gonna select this one to all select everything control plus and I'm gonna um, make new texture new and then assign that but I don't want it to be like this white either so I'm gonna make it just a bit darker here to be something like gray yeah it looks like this to look like this now I'm gonna rename uh, my uh, our materials now I'm gonna apply the same texture to the table here so select this table and select that one control L link materials and right now um, we don't want this line for this table so we're gonna remove it but right now the two texture are linked which means if I ch if I try to remove it from here and um, this wall texture will also get removed and we don't want that so let's click on these two icon now they are not linked anymore I can delete oops select this one and yeah I can delete this I don't need this one either so I'm just gonna um, yeah connect this one and for me I think uh, the texture is a bit too big as well so I'm gonna select that one oh I think we have to fix the UV for this one as well 
um, hit control A scale so what I'm doing is I apply the scale for this one tap and U smart UV project and now we get the right kind of texture map okay cool now I'm gonna scale this one up a bit ah the original one looks cool but I think we should add just a little bit of um, detail to this this table because right now it just looks too flat okay I'm gonna um, add detail by hitting control in R and I'm gonna add one more right there just put it right there now hit 3 select the top plus and scale but Z shift Z and just scale this one a bit inward and hit 2 select this one control B and just slide this one um, I know right now the the edges of this ta table are too sharp but don't worry about it we're gonna fix it in uh, cycles so I'm gonna use the same texture for the stand here select everything and also for this one as well and lastly select this one control L and just link the materials cool but when I zoomed out then we can see um, the texture for this one is not uh, working it's because we have to unwrap this one as well go to tab select everything you smart projects smart UV project but the problem here is it this texture is too big so select this one just scale it to whatever you want right there cool now we're almost done let's give texture to this um, is for the frame as well select them and I'm gonna give it a like super simple texture okay just make it almost black and select the face Go, uh, select three and select the face let's add another texture just make it white and then assign it but right now it's too white just make it a little bit darker I mean just a bit lighter than uh, the frame itself where is it okay right there just make it a little bit dark I mean lighter so I'm gonna do it exactly the same for this uh, three frame I'm gonna hit this one as the last control L and just link the materials hit tab and select all the phases and select this one and assign them okay cool um, we're gonna rename our materials again this one is frame cool now what we have to do is give texture to this cup as well so it's going to be like a really simple materials I'm just give it red and make it just a little bit darker and decrease the roughness and yeah do the same for this one select the plate control L and just link the materials now I want to give a uh, different material for the inside of this plate so just go to the materials I mean the this one modifiers tab and material index offset set to one so what this one does is this is the material index and this is zero and if I add one I mean one more material this is gonna be one and if I add another more there's gonna be two three something like that so uh, the inside of this plate will use this texture right now if I make it just a little bit darker yeah something like this I'm gonna select the plate I mean the spoon make it a little bit um, smaller I'm gonna grab it toward Z okay let's add new texture make it metallic and roughness decrease almost to zero I'm gonna decrease um, this one just a bit now it look like steel which is cool right okay so it's going to be the base for the texturing part and yeah that's it for this video see you in the next video bye bye